Okay, welcome to Tav Deep Darkness with Topside. Okay, so we're going to try and read this together. And I'm going to try and do commentary because the other day I tried to film a Tower of Pure Chroma video, but it didn't really work out because my commentary wasn't that good. And yeah, luckily, Tob thinks I have a skill issue, so we're going to have so much fun watching me fail. Okay, but we're still going to wait for God if he. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that conveyor. That's a button you have to skip. He has Rainbow Trail, what? Cool. Haha, <laughs> he died. I'm gonna say skill issue because that's what he always says to me. Jump over the button. Watching God. Yes. Okay, I know where to go in this maze basically. No, wait, wait for him. Okay, let's go. Slowly. So, the first one. Oh, yeah, you go get the blue button. We just have to wait for God. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do this again. See, it's lazy making. It's lazy gameplay. This is how bad this tower is. It's really lazy. Okay, let's go. Oh crap! No! No! Are we gonna wait for you or what? Okay, so you can leave the call, I guess. Alright, so guys, God just died and now he's not gonna come back because then we have to wait for him and he doesn't want to come back because he doesn't want to make us wait. So we're gonna we're gonna continue it without him and it's super sad because he died. He was he was Alright, um, so I'm just going, to, going ahead and going down here, and now up to this bit. This bit sucks. I remember this bit being really confusing because I had no idea how that, um, um, that like, push thing worked that led you to different buttons or whatever. I have no idea, and I still don't really know how it works. I sort of just, I sort of just do random stuff. Okay, so this 60 second timer thing is actually really short. Well, you have so much time, but I remember this rope platform can sometimes hit the conveyor and start swinging around, which makes, which forces you to reset unless you get extremely lucky, and, and it's really annoying. Okay, now I gotta wait for the, for the, I think people call it the taxi. Okay, well, that's actually pretty fast. It brings these nightmares from linophobia of how boring it is. The last floor, the tie ropes are so thin and it's the most boring thing ever. Unless you jump across it, but if you jump across it, that's how you die. Because you're impatient and you think, oh, I'll be fine, and then you die. We okay. This bit. Sometimes I get flung corner clipping here and it's actually really annoying. Oh yeah, the glitchy zip line. No. Phew, sometimes I... Glitchy zipline like bounces you up. If you go sideways, then there's not much. If you corner clip sideways, then I don't think you can be flinged. Okay, please do not get flinged, because then it will be depressing. Yes, I am back. Let's go, Tower of Traps. I hate how the question got changed. Final question, choose the left answer. Like, that's mean that it's the right answer. Because people could obviously die, but you can do the the camera trick, so I guess it's fine. Tower I didn't even realise this was Tower of Traps on Deep Darkness before I beat it. Oh yeah, it is. You can just war hop. Because that bit is sucks. See how lazy this tower is? You can... It literally goes through pretty... I think every tower... Oh, crap. It goes through pretty much every tower in ring... Two, just to extend the gameplay. We uh, can you? I think you can just skip along this entire bit because the floor is collidable. Yeah, you can literally skip across the entire thing. <laughs> this is so dumb. And the, and the last few floors are lazy as. Oh yeah, to have eternal suffering. This bit used to be really dark that you couldn't see anything. Oh yeah, okay. If you fall here, this is basically the only bit where you can fall and die. Where's the lights? Loads, loads, loads. Oh, I can't see. 
Loads, load light. Oh no, no, it's not supposed to load. This bit is scary. If you fall, as you can see, you lose so much progress. You literally have to redo the entire tower because... And I fell here once. Oh yeah, once I fell past this tube and it was so annoying. Okay, now onto this bit. I hate this bit. Okay. Okay, now this one, this is scary bit. Luckily I have the music off because this is the scariest thing ever. It's not scary. It has creepy sounds and run. I think they try to make a scary tower, but it's not really that scary. Okay, now we have to go down the manhole thing. I don't even know what this key is for, but it's a key. Yes. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no, this bit. I forgot. To have deep darkness is so forgettable that you literally forget when things are going to happen. Oh, I forgot about this maze. Oh, I forgot to have eternal suffering. Yes. Wait, what? How did we just make it? Oh, yeah, you have to jump here. Or you die. Light. Okay, now I don't know where this is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. Yeah. And then you get this button. And then it plays a scary sound that I can't hear. Oh, yeah, and then it activates the part that lets you go, um... Oh yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. I remember this tower. Before I remember I needed to watch a video on this, but now I, now I don't need to watch a video. Now I just sort of can sight read because before I was noob and I was like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I'm, I'm 19 minutes in at this bit and I need to watch a video. This is like floor six, I'm pretty sure. Yep, okay, I remember this bit. Now there's another secret path somewhere, yep. Yeah? Secret puffs suck. Okay, this is the run bit. Run. Once I got flinged on this corner clip and it sucked. And I was like, no, no, I gotta go to school. I'm, I'm 5,000 minutes in. I'm scared. Where did he go? Did he go up? Phew, I was scared there. Now we're gonna go in the building, I think. Is it in that? Yeah. And now we gotta push the bookshelf. And then I knocks a hole in the carpet. That took me forever to figure out. At least I didn't look it up. Oh yeah, this maze! So many mazes in this tower. I forgot about this maze too because this tower is so forgettable. And then it's that, and then it's that button section where there's lots of buttons for no reason to put you off because you think you have lots of time when you actually don't. Something like that. I used to think there wasn't a cat zone here, but there is. There's literally a cat zone everywhere in this tower, except for that one bit that, that I nearly died at before. Because this tower's easy, and even if you fall there, you still can't fall all the way. What happened to Tob? Not the maze that we're up to. I think we get teleported to around here, and we have to do lots again if we fall on the last floor. It says we'll be tele back, teleported back to floor three, but but when it's a lot, but then but, but from that logic, they're basically saying that. If you're at the top of the tower, you're on floor 10. But technically it's floor 1 because you start there. Or is it? Because that's not really how buildings work. Where's Tob going? What is he doing? What is Tob doing? No, I disconnected. Wait, I disconnected. Okay, well, I did disconnect. I did, but I didn't... I, I like... I disconnected from the server. People not moving, I can't talk in chat, but I can still play. So maybe, like as you can see, Tob is not moving. He sent a screenshot of me and I'm not where I am right now. I'm like way further back. So if I can beat it, if I can get to the wind pad before I disconnect, then I technically beat it. it this happened to me three times. Oh, yep, I disconnected. Okay, well, that is a really annoying thing.